And we're ready to read, in the unit of music, the book M is for Melody. And this one is a music alphabet. It's written by Kathy, Kathy Jo Warg, Worgen? Worgen. That's what it sounds like. Kathy Jo Worgen. And we're going to introduce more instruments, shall we? Let's begin with the first letter of the alphabet. The letter A. A is the anthem, and we are so proud. It's our national song, and we sing it out loud. And as a class, you should know and learn that, and we will at some point. Ready? Let's go with the letter B. B is for brass. Do you hear the sound swell as it flows through the tubing and out through the bell? With trombones and trumpets that shimmer and shine, cornets and tubas and French horns are fine. These are some of those brass instruments. Some of them. Not all of them. Next is letter C. C is for conductors waving in the air. They direct the music with a special flair. And C is for composer. Have you heard of Bach? A composer writes the music from classical to rock. So we have here two of them. We have Bach and we have our famous uh, composer, uh, an African American, and I just forgot his name. And um, he was blind. My God, they did a mutant. They did a movie on him, and uh, the guy won an Oscar for portraying him. So, if somebody remembers, please let me know um, and keep it in the comments. It was, they also had composers like Wolfgang, Amadeus, Mozart, Ludwig van Beethoven, Paul McCartney, Clara Schumann, Fanny, Mendelssohn, uh, are women composers, of course, but the one that I'm trying to remember is this famous African-American that was a composer and a singer. Oh, he was out of this world. So that's letter C, and this is the conductor. Now D is for the drum mayors. Don't you think they're grand as they march on down the street as leaders of the band? D is also for dynamic. It tells you how to play. Piano means to play it soft. For loud, so we forte. And here it is. <coughs> Next is the letter E. Now E is for the early music very long ago. Medieval, Renaissance, and Baroque are three kinds you should know. Bravo! Bravo! Because it was an era of a lot of music. Some of that music, you guys don't know what it is, but you should all be exposed to it because it's very important to know the music that exists before you were born and created and then now. <clears throat> F is for the folk song. And we'd like to say... It's the music of people. Which one shall we play? And I like sometimes the way they do that folk music. The letter G is for guitar. You strum 
or play with pick. Some guitars have 12 strings. Others just have six. So, that guitar has six. H. For, H is for harmony. It sounds very fine when two or more notes are played at the same time. And harmony is something very important in music because there has to be harmony in order for you to sound uh, uplifting, beautiful, and touching to people emotionally. And I is for instrument. Which one would you would you play? When you join the band, you'll have fun every day. Practice makes perfect. So, this girl is trying as many musical instruments to decide which one she likes. The one in the middle is the saxophone. But I see that she's tried the trumpet. She's tried the piano. She's tried the violin. Um, the other one is drums. And she did the recorder. So, which one does she like? Maybe the one that she's holding in the middle. J. Now, J is for jazz. It's cool music style. It's a blend of our cultures, and it makes us smile. There's Dixie and blues. There's a big band and swing. Jazz started in all, and that's why it's king. What does that mean? That still to this day, some people dance it, some people play it, and some people listen to that music. K is for keyboard. Do you see the keys? When you play with the, your hands, you tickle the ivories. Pianos, organs, uh, harp, harpsichords, synthesizers, too. All are keyboards. We can play. I will try. Will you? What do you think? Will you try the or with a keyboard? I remember my nephew when he started playing. One of the first instruments he started was the guitar. And then he came and fell in love with the keyboard. And he started making music. And he writes his own music too. And L is for lullaby, a lovely song for sleep. Shall we go to bed, my dear? Hush, don't make a peep. Because guess who's sleeping? The baby. So she has to be what? Shh, quiet. M is... Is the letter M, the letter M is for melody. A tune is what we hear. When music notes are played in the flow into our ear. And M is also meter. You can be a music star when you learn the basic pace is four beats in a bar. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, N is for note. Can you follow along with the notes on a staff uh, of your favorite song? Each note fills a space or sits right on a line. The spaces spell face. The lines spell every good boy does fine. And I like that. Because it makes it easy for you to learn. It's the way that we should have been taught. At least, I wish I was taught that way, but I never got that far. And O is for orchestra. O is for the orchestra where people play as one. Woodwind, strings, 
percussions, brass. It sounds like so much fun. Encore, encore, plays, play one more. P is for percussion. Come and move your feet. It makes you feel like dancing when percussion gives the beat. Kettle drums are tim timpani, timpani bells and cymbals, grand. Find yourself some pots and pans and make a kitchen band. Now, if you were a little boy or girl, you might have already done that in your kitchen. Interesting, right? Q. The letter Q is for quartet. It means the number four, four singers and four players. It's a form we all adore. Duet means two. Quintet means five. A trio means three. There are three. Solo means all by yourself. It's easy as can be. And this is what they call the quartet. R. R is for rhythm. Can you feel the beat as it flows through the, our fingers and into our feet? And R is for ragtime. A hit for an our nation. Just drag out a beat and it's called syncopation. Syncop syncopation. Syncopation. I don't know what that is pronounced wrong, but that word kind of tongue twist my little tongue. Sorry about that. Came out wrong. S is for strings. And here are some of those instruments that are string. They can play fast or slow. Just pluck all, just pluck at them neatly or draw with your bow. So, as you know, this is the cello, bajo, violin, and viola. I like them. The violin is, is the most touching one. T is for tempo. It's the pace we must go. Allegro means fast, and lento means slow. So... Guess who they put in the picture? The hare and the tor and the tortoises, right? The hare is the presto, and the tortoises is the largo or the slow one, right? U is for unison. At the same time, let's all sing together, and it will sound. Fine, and that's why during our gross motor, you have to all sing at the same time, so it can be unison. The letter V is for our voice, so let the music ring. Our voice is our own instrument. We play it when we sing. Look at those people singing. You're singing with passion. You're singing with love. You're singing with everything you've got. Well, now W is for woodwind. And woodwinds, they are shaped like hollow poles. When the air flows through the tube, it comes out through the holes as toot toot. So you have bazoon, English. Horn. Then you have oboe. This is oboe. Clarinet and flute. And the one that he has in his mouth is called piccolo. The winds, the woodwinds are a family, and we must not forget. 
piccolo flute, oboe, bassoon, English horn, and clarinet. X. Xylophone begins with X. I'm sure you understand that all you need to play is the mallet in your hand. That's all. Look at it. Why? Now, why is for yodel. We sing without words and make high and low noises. It's neat. Have you heard? yodel hu That's one of the famous ones. And last but not least, the last letter of the alphabet is the letter Z. <clears throat> Ready? And Z is for zither, a flat box with strings. You strum them uh, or pluck them. You do many things. And it looks like this. Now, here's the end of our musical spree. So please share your music with love, A to Z. And I hope you have a better knowledge now of some of these musical instruments that start with M is for melody from A to Z. Remember, smart is not something you are. Smart is something you get.